Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is the web series where we follow all the latest updates and rumours regarding the Superman reboot. This is episode 48, and today we have some exciting updates from multiple people who have visited the Superman set and seen Superman footage. But we start with some information from a scooper, so let's get into the updates. So this first piece of information has come from Big Screen Leaks, who isn't 100% reliable, but I think he has got more right than wrong. However, the information he is giving us is what people think of the movie so far, so this will be subjective and not an objective update. So just bear that in mind. So he was talking to people on X and one user asked, any word on Superman 2025 and how the DCU is going to shape? And BSL said, I've heard only excellent things regarding Superman and especially internally, they're really high on it. DCU is shaping up well too. I've heard Supergirl's script is really good. The user then asked, do you think Warner Brothers is more hyped for this than The Flash or is this equivalent to The Batman? And BSL said, the way people are talking about it is very different from The Flash in the best way possible. This movie is the real deal. And then another user asked, Asked, how exactly is it very different? The Flash was supposed to be one of the best superhero movies ever. From test screenings, Scooper, even Gun, they all said so. And then BSL finally responded with, It's really hard to describe because it's all been in conversations, but the way people are talking is just different. I can't really explain it, but it's different in a good way. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and people know that. So like I said, very subjective updates from BSL there and I can understand the lack of trust people have with this update and the movie in general. But we will get onto that a bit later on. So for now, let's break down what he has said. So it seems that the atmosphere surrounding the Superman movie is positive and is different to how it was around The Flash, but in the best way possible. Now I think I kind of understand what he means, but it took me some time to really process it. We have to add context to this situation. Think of DC before DC studios. Walter Hamada in charge and constant hit pieces from DC being put out through news outlets like Deadline and The Wrap to try and make DC look better. They always try to push the blame onto actors or directors or sometimes even fans instead of taking the blame themselves. I'm sure you all remember them. DC under Hamada was a mess and a pretty toxic environment. I strongly believe that whilst Warner Brothers damaged the DCEU before Hamada came in, he was the one who tried truly killed it. And since he has left, the studio has become better. Whether you like Gunn or not, you have to admit, he is bringing organisation to the studio. A fresh restart with the DCU and planning out the next 8 to 10 years of storytelling. That is already more than what Hamada did at DC, so the culture at the studio has changed. Also, back when Hamada was there, every time a new DCEU movie was releasing soon, articles would come out to describing that film as the best DC movie since The Dark Knight. It actually became a meme throughout the DC fandom, and every single time the movie did not live up to that description, including the Flash movie. So I think when BSL says, the way people are talking is just different, I can't explain it really, but it's different in a good way, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and people know that, he is referring to how different the studio feels and the way they are talking about their new movies. I think when a company's culture changes for the better with new management, employees talk about the company differently. Not only that, but the whole approach a studio has to certain aspects changes too. So I think what BSL is seeing is that change in old studio to new. He can just feel in the interactions he is having with people at the studio that things are different to before. Now that doesn't mean better. We will know if it is better when we actually see the final product. When we see the movie, we will be able to tell if we should be able to now trust these claims from BSL or other scoopers or if this is just a new version of what we heard from the old regime. But a promising thing to note is that BSL isn't the only person who has said something good about the movie. Rob Liefeld, the creator of Deadpool, had this to say, I am hearing really great, great things about James Gunn's Superman. I could not be more psyched. 
Superman is my favorite superhero of all space and time. Now that's great to hear, but how does he know this? Well, Gunn invited a load of comic book writers down to the Superman set to see some of the work they are doing. Rob wasn't one of the ones invited, but I imagine he was told by another comic book writer who was able to go. And Scott Snyder, another comic book writer, had this to say about visiting the set. Yeah man, I was there and the movie looked great. Epic, heartfelt and fun. So the theme seems to be that people who have seen parts of the movie think the movie looks great. And that's a really good thing to hear, but how believable is that? On one side, you could say, well, these comic book writers are DC experts. So if they think it looks great, then that's a really big compliment. But on the other hand, you could easily say, well, firstly, Jeff Johns was a successful comic book writer, but knew nothing about how to make a good movie. And secondly, maybe their opinions could just be biased or just PR talk to try and make the movie sound better than it is. It all depends on how you take this information. And that really depends on your mentality towards the Superman movie. If you're pessimistic or don't trust the studio at all, then you'll think this is just a desperate attempt at trying to act like the studio has changed and their movies are now so much better. But if you're optimistic or excited for this fresh start and fully believe in the DCU, then you will be over the moon with this news and believe these claims. Now for me, I try to be as optimistic but as realistic as possible. We simply do not know if this information is credible until the movie comes out unfortunately, because all this information is opinion based. We're not hearing details about the plot or when a trailer is going to come out. These are opinions on what they have seen. So the issue with this news is that the people working within the studio will obviously have a bias towards their own work and their own team. But at the same time, that doesn't mean the movie can't also actually be good, and what they have said, they actually mean. So I would say with this news, take it with a pinch of salt. It could be very promising, but it could also be the typical PR stunt we have seen before with past DC movies. Personally, I'm leaning towards the optimist side more and hope Hoping it's true. Because as a fan, I love doing that. I'd rather get my hopes up and risk being disappointed than being pessimistic the whole time. At least with being hopeful, there is a part of this journey that is guaranteed to be happy about the movie. Being pessimistic about the movie means being miserable all the way up to the release of the film and either still being miserable after watching it or realizing you liked the film and you've wasted all that time being negative for no reason. And as a Superman fan, one of his many great traits is being optimistic, so I want to follow in his footsteps. So I'm leaning towards optimism and saying this is exciting to hear, but I'm not going to go full blown optimist and believing it fully. I think there is most likely PR motives behind this, but I also think those people are actually impressed by what they have seen. So those are my thoughts on this news, but make sure to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!